Hello, my name is Matthew Varzen, founder of BrickPath.com. Today we're going to talk for a few minutes about whiteboarding. So this is a whiteboard video about whiteboarding. Kind of a play within a play. Anyway, I'm a huge whiteboard fan and I wanted to share with you some lessons I've learned over the years about how to do good ones and avoid some of the mistakes. So, without further ado, let's begin whiteboarding 101. First, three basic rules about good whiteboarding. First, set the stage. So in our case here, setting the stage means who are the cast of characters? First, there's you or me as the presenter at the whiteboard. Secondly, there are those people sitting in the room watching you do your whiteboard, the audience. Then there is, of course, the whiteboard itself and the work you do on it. So that is setting the stage. Number two, frame the debate or the issue. So, some tried and true techniques here. One might be a spectrum. You could draw for people A, B, C, D, or you could do one of my personal favorites, the grid, high, low, low, high, that sort of thing. Or three, you could map, let's say, the workflow of how something works today. Or, finally, to use a sports analogy, you could draw, if you were talking about football, you could draw a football field. So then they know who the characters are, the frame of the debate with which we're talking, and finally, third, propose your solution. So in this case on the spectrum, hey, we could do anything from A to D. I'm advocating C today. You can talk about that. Or on this grid, I'm really advocating we go here, or this is broken, so let's redirect it there. Or, you know, hey, we're running horrible plays here, let's change our offense. So now for some quick do's and don'ts. First, do's. Color is your friend. Think about it. I just use green for do, I'm about to use red for don't. Which leads me to do number two, which is conventions are your friend. What I mean by that is time, generally, we all think goes left to right. So as you're doing a diagram, follow those conventions. High level things are up top, details are down low. Stick with things like that. Now for some don'ts. Don't talk down to your audience. You're not up there lecturing at them. PowerPoint's horrible at that. Whiteboarding ought to be opening up for discussion, so don't talk down. And number two, don't use the whiteboard as a playground for bad ideas and random words. The whiteboard is a visual medium. It ought to be used as such. The highest compliment of a good whiteboard is that if you left the room and someone came in, they could look at it and the board would speak for itself. And the best sign that you've done a good whiteboard is someone, maybe your arch rival or arch enemy in your group, comes up, wants to grab a pen, and they don't erase your whiteboard, they actually come up and just add to it. Then you know you've done a good job. So I hope these tips and tricks have been helpful, and in your next meeting I hope you use a whiteboard to good effect.